A murder mystery in Midtown. A cross-dresser gunned down, but police don't believe his personal life played a role in his death. Seven Action News reporter Brianne Palmarini is live at police headquarters to explain. Brianne, what are police saying to you right now? Well, police are not saying very much about the victim at all. They will say they are doing this like any other homicide, investigating this just as normal. Right now, they say it's too early to call this a hate crime. Not at this time. Um, there is no connection with the hate crime or anything other, and it's it's still fresh. Officer Danielle Woods is the LGBT liaison for the Detroit Police Department, and she says while the victim's sexual orientation and clothing may not have to do with the victim's murder, she says it's still worth addressing. It's very sensitive, you know, to the LGBT community, and we're offering our thoughts and prayers and love to any family and friends of the uh, victim. The shooting happened before 6.30 this morning here off Arizona Street in Midtown Detroit. While we were on the scene, we ran into a woman who claimed she found the body, a man she named Melvin and a good friend. The bullet, they found shell cases. Melvin didn't deserve to go out like that. She said Melvin lived on the streets and was a drag queen. We asked her why she thought he was targeted, but she was at a loss. I couldn't even tell you. I don't even know. It, I don't. Right now, police don't have any leads, but they are hopeful someone in the community will step up and speak out. The homicide detectives are working diligently to close this case, um, and anyone in the community that may have any information can uh, definitely call DPD. You can also call Crime Stoppers and leave an anonymous tip. That number is 1 800 Speak Up. Live in downtown Detroit, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News.